everyone and welcome back we got another coach's commentary for you it's gonna be a week five matchup against lena and it is not going to be any fun so let's get into things right away here <clears throat> so again uh, the 2022 wolves six and two overall record scored 42 points per game uh, you know a bunch of passing yards a uh, bunch of rushing yards hey all that good stuff there and uh we are going to be running into a buzzsaw when it comes to Lena. So uh, some of the, well, I guess you can see the score there, uh, ultimately being uh, 52 to 24. A absolutely brutal second quarter, uh, and we're kind of, everything just goes wrong at once, and uh, the wheels just totally come off and give up a ton of yards and so on and so forth. For our statistical highlights, you know we've got Grant Vandervest, uh, 124 passing yards for two touchdowns, 21 rushes for 61 yards. So that's like uh, 2.9 yards per carry or something like that, which is not, not ideal. Uh, for uh, Varden, he had nine touches. Uh, I think it was uh, five catches and four rushes. Uh, for 171 yards and three touchdowns, 12 total tackles on defense. He was doing a lot of work. Uh, our DBs had a lot of tackles this game. And then uh, C.A. Ritchie, uh, he had eight total tackles, which is pretty impressive based on the job that he had to do. So uh, our D-line uh, in this one was pretty much just like getting uh, you know, double teamed and all this stuff. Uh, Lena, the offense that they run, uh, they're doing a lot of double teams. They have a bunch of really good linemen, so you're just getting mashed up. And to get eight total tackles is a... Uh, Pretty impressive there. So going into the game, <clears throat> we knew Lena was steamrolling everybody uh, in the run game. Uh, that's kind of their MO. They're going to go uh, double tight, three guys in the backfield, and they're going to pound the rock. Uh, their center uh, and their right guard are big, giant monsters. Uh, the first time I saw their center as a sophomore the previous year, I was just like, that guy is going to be so awesome. It really sucks that we're going to have to see him uh, for three years. Uh, and the right guard was the same age, not as good, but again, he was a mauler. He's uh, you know strong, um, low center of gravity, two very different uh, players, but uh, both extremely effective. And uh, of course, they're going to have a giant freshman too, uh, number 99, uh, where he's going to be a problem. Uh, you know, he was a problem this uh, most recent season in 23, and he's got two more years to be a problem for us. But our big thing when it comes to Lena is, can we make them throw? Uh, we really felt like if we can make them throw, we were going to win the game. Uh, so that would require kind of a two-score lead uh, and make them throw because kind of what happens to them in the playoffs is when they face a team with other, like, uh, you know, really quality uh, you know, D linemen that can stop the run is they can't pass, and then they throw a bunch of picks, and then they uh, they ultimately lose. So, uh, kind of our game plan always for Lena is: can we get it to where we have a lead and make them throw? And uh, so far, the answer has been no. Uh, so far, so things to watch. Tried sprinkling in uh, a different defense, a four-man front. Uh, you know the. Uh, without getting too much into the X's and O's for it, you know, we called it Gorilla, but it uh, has us really weak in some places. You know, strengthens us in others. But you know, the I told the guys, Lena's going to figure this out. Hey, you know, they got a smart coaching staff. Uh, they see four man fronts. Uh, they see five man fronts. All this stuff. So they're going to figure out. Okay, this is what they're doing, and then they're going to try to exploit it. And it's kind of can we. You know, get this situation where we can slow them up so we can get like a two score lead and again make them throw. And of course, it didn't work. Uh, gave up like 370 yards rushing or something like that. Um, also, it seems like uh, we're cursed every single week that we play uh, Lena uh, each year where you know, we had people out for COVID the previous year. Uh, we get injuries, other sicknesses. Uh, it just seems like. Uh, we have bad luck when that happens, and again, not an excuse, but it always seems like we're down a couple of players when it uh, comes to Lena, when we need them the most. So when it comes to Lena, St. Thomas Aquinas, QB, was, uh, uh, I think he was maybe second or third place in the state for rush yards. Uh, you know, you can see the uh, numbers there, 1,563. He was averaging like seven yards a carry. Uh, 
you know, Lena, they did tons of runs to the offensive right, so running behind that center, their right guard, and then the giant freshman. So they're doing that over and over. The quarterback was super fast. Uh, probably the maybe the second fastest player on the field. Maybe he was a little bit faster than Grant this year. Um, I don't know, but um, kind of seeing him as a sophomore, junior, senior, he also got thicker as well. Lena does a really nice job of developing players, getting their guys to hit the weight room and stuff, and that's a pretty consistent problem for us where we don't have guys who hit the weights uh, a whole lot. Uh, so we end up uh, kind of getting ground down uh, by teams that do lift. Um, <clears throat> But, uh, you know, their offense isn't anything complicated. Uh, they just run it really, really well. Uh, and, you know, they have, um, you know, a couple of plays where it looks exactly the same. And then all of a sudden the QB is going off the other way. And then if you're not reading your keys, if you're not disciplined on the backside, you're going to give up a bunch of big plays. Plus also Lena has enough guys where they can platoon. So they only have like maybe one, two, maybe three guys who, bowl, who go both ways. And uh, that's it. And for us, uh, we maybe have like one or two guys who don't go both ways. So again, you can kind of see, and again, this is pretty normal for uh, when we play Lena, is first quarter is going to be close. Uh, it'll be tied or a one-score game. And then usually the second quarter, they start to pull away because we start to get ground down. Uh, we start to uh, get tired when their guys are a lot more fresh. Okay, so uh, let's get into the uh, game here and like I said not going to be a fun one but again it, it offers some really good learning opportunities which is uh, kind of what uh, these things are all about kind of uh, part nostalgia talking about uh, you know old players and stuff like that kind of seeing uh, you know how guys develop but also like ultimately this is uh, hopefully a teaching tool. So they do a shift here. We knew that they were going to do a shift, and uh, we uh, mess it up right off the bat. Uh, lucky that they didn't uh, call, <clears throat> uh, you know, hike right away. We had a guy left wide open, but our defensive end dips inside, gives up the outside. And again, we almost jump off sides here. So not a great start. I'm not uh, very happy. And again, that uh, QB is beating us to the edge, and we're not able to uh, get guys there to you know tackle them for no gain or for a loss. Okay, pulling a guard here, they're just running power. Okay, they're going to do that a lot. Again, they're kind of feeling us out. Okay, they uh, know that we're in a different defense. Okay, and you can see they're driving us. 10 yards downfield, just out of there, and uh, long run for a touchdown. So, not a great start. Again, for Lena, they, like, never have any uh, surprises for us. They're going to do what they're going to do. Kind of their whole thing is, uh, you know, they're kind of the design is if they get four yards every single time, uh, that's good. They're just going to keep driving. They're patient. You know, kind of our uh, thing that we try to do is on defense is make them drive. It's tough to put drives together for you know, uh, twelve plays, thirteen plays, fourteen plays, etc. But Lena is just fine with that stuff. Okay, so I think we false started there. So again, okay. got a trap. Don't do a good job of blocking uh, number eight. Stud linebacker, he was a defensive player of the year for the conference uh, this year and the previous year. Gets tons of tackles. Able to make a nice throw. I think that was to uh, Carson Lishka there. Got a decent push. Got a couple of yards. Again, we're trying to uh, keep up here. Got a bad snap. And we're getting into these, you know, double stick situations, which uh, no coach likes being in. Okay. Get most of it back there, and then we're in a, 
uh, you know, fourth and three type of thing. <clears throat> okay. Again, get the first down, doing some good things. Again, feeling out what they're trying to do on defense. Uh, kind of what they are doing a lot is they just try to penetrate. Their D-line, they're just flying up the field as fast as they can. And we're running into ourselves and... <clears throat> Not ideal. Yeah, so we're going trips. Hey, we... Uh, Knew from previous times where they like to stack the strong side and trips, so we did a weak side trap there. Got some good yards. But again, we're in third and long, double sticks. And give up pressure, give up a sack, and then we're fourth and long, punting. And take too long to uh, get the kick. Should be one step in punting it. And they get the block. So, pretty much right away, they're just after us. I think we're kind of lucky to get out of the first quarter with only being down eight. Okay, again, they're, you know, <laughs> we just drove one of our D linemen back like 12 yards there. But it must have been a holding call or something. Okay, and yeah, they're pulling guards, running power. Trying to switch between our two defenses, our base 3-1, which, uh, I mean, they just have everything blocked up really well and we're not able to make any plays. Yeah, like, that center is so awesome. He's number 71. 89 is the right guard. Uh, in this most recent season, so it'd be his senior year, he was uh, honorable, honorable mention All-State. Which I think is totally bogus. Uh, definitely should have been all state. He is the best offensive lineman I probably saw, um, you know, with all the film and stuff. So we cover pretty much like all of uh, Eastern Wisconsin, and he's the best lineman that uh, that I saw for this season and uh, this most recent season. So really awesome player. Also, like, never does anything dirty. You know, uh, you know goes to the whistle, whistle, finishes well, doesn't do anything cheap. Just, like, the, the type of player that, like, you want to have. So it's kind of cool to see a guy get success, but also sucks being an opposing coach. Just, like, going against uh, really awesome players. Yeah, they're just able to, anything they want to do, they're able to get. <clears throat> so a little pitch to the outside here. Okay. Malone's able to uh, get off the block, stretch that out, get there for the tackle. Uh, Lishka was there also to get in on the tackle too. That's kind of the what we're trying to make happen, the design of the defense. All right, so get a kick to Varden, see what he can do. Getting some good yards, decent return. And we're uh, down two scores here, so kind of in like uh, we got to do some stuff here. Again, on the backside, give up a bunch of penetration. Again, we get into a, a double stick situation. So yeah, with uh, you know, Grant running the ball, uh, you know, 21 times, 61 yards. Not a winning business model. Yeah, so we mishandle the snap. Again, another bad uh, special team situation, and we give him the ball, you know, on the, what, 17-yard line? Yeah, running that uh, 
you know, they're just bringing everybody there. So they're bringing both backs. They're pulling a guard. QB's running. Just bodies and bodies at the point of attack. Yeah, that's one of their main, uh, you know, uh, passing plays there. Yeah, I mean, we got two guys to him in the backfield and can't make the play on him. But yeah, 25, he is an, also an impressive player, really fast. Can see him get stronger uh, over the years. The, uh, the running backs the year before this one, just like giant horses too, that were just trucking us over. Uh, you know, the the guys this year and they also played you know against us uh, in this most recent season in uh, 23 <clears throat> you could even tell that they were like they get guys who lift so kind of an error there we catch the ball with our knee on the ground instead of getting a return you know not getting uh not getting to the linebackers but eight was the guy 14 we weren't super worried about like, uh, I mean, that play, he didn't read the play uh, very well. But uh, he's kind of a big blitzer. But it was like, we got to get guys on eight. And he was really good at, uh, you know, getting that lockout, getting us off of him, making plays. So going back to trips here. Run some different uh, combinations. Good play by 15. But nice hole there, but again, weren't able to uh, stay on eight. I'm not sure what the penalty is in there. Came in late. I didn't see a uh, face mask or something, but yeah, we decided we got to get Vard in the ball more. So then, you know, his first carry he takes to the house. Makes uh, two guys like fall down in front of him. And then, like, all right, that gives us a bit of life here. Have a senior stepping up. Varden's one of the better athletes that have uh, come through in the. Let's see, this is my 13th year. Nice run by Grant there. Nice blocking by our line. So we got a little squib kick here. Kick it right to 25, of course. And then, yeah, just... I think maybe they got a holding call there on CA. Let's see if this comes back. Oh, no. We did a penalty, it looks like. I don't remember what that was. So yeah, just power there, <laughs> just tr trucking us over. <clears throat> yeah, QB sneak running behind uh, seventy one. Yeah, these guys are just after us and yeah falling asleep there on the uh, D end not the defensive end but on you know defensive side alright so yeah want to get up the field there going back to trips Hoping we can uh, do something here. Again, we're giving up penetration like right away. It's tough for a QB, especially with you know a guy uh, up the middle. Where there you can't really do much. You know that pocket is collapsing. You can't really see. You know, Grant is shorter, obviously. We had a pretty tall offensive line.
Okay, we got a weak side trap. Yeah, things looking pretty good. Grant gets to the outside. Then Varden gets another carry. Again, doing a nice job for us. There we go. Grant making a couple of guys miss. Doing some good things. We're getting uh, pretty close to the half here. Got the Lishka boys out at the Twins. They're running a, a weak side play here. Again, getting out of bounds. Got good yards. And Grant cuts it all the way back. Good run by him. Again, also getting out of bounds. Making some smart decisions. Line's doing a pretty good job of moving people. Hey there, we're uh, kind of late out of our stance, so our down block on that nose tackle is late, so then we have to use our uh, halfback or our two-back to get that, and then things just fall apart uh, before the half here. So yeah, we get a you know, minimum 12-point swing there. Going into score, throw a pick. And then, you know, that's pretty much the dagger where just like, okay, like, this thing's over. You know, in the... Uh, Second half, we're going to come to life a little bit, but that's pretty much after, like, they knew the game was won. Kind of a running clock situation. All that stuff. But. Yeah, um, in this season, Lino's actually going to get second place in conference. They had a shootout against Gibraltar, where Gibraltar, I think, won by two. And I can't remember if it was an overtime. I think it might have been an overtime. Uh, but then, um, you know, if you watch the Gibraltar coach's commentary, I felt that uh, Gibraltar had a you know top four team in the state uh, if everybody stayed healthy, and they had a ton of injuries. Uh, and when it came to Lena playing uh, Gibraltar in playoffs, Lena ended up winning. No, they got so desperate that they took one of their, uh, I think it was a backup guard, and had him playing wide receiver, and kind of all this stuff. Yeah, so not too bad there. Got guys to the sideline, made him cut up into our pursuit. Uh, that was a really good read by uh, Feld there at linebacker. Just couldn't bring the guy down uh, at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're just going to be pounding the rock on us. They're going to be running clock. There we go. Nice play there. We get two guys into the backfield. Yeah, whenever they uh, needed a couple of yards, QB sneak was pretty much always there. And we got uh, Mason Malone making a play there. Yeah. Again, got a couple of guys almost there, kind of like arm tackle stuff. 25's running through it. Pass play. Uh, I think that was Parker in coverage there. He did a pretty good job of recognizing it. He strung that out. Hey, nice job there.
Everyone's going to think I'm in love with 71, but like, look at that guy. 89, little tank, too. Pulling a guard. Nice job getting through there. So get up the field, get what you can. All right, got him to jump. Hopefully we can make something of the uh, situation here. Got us bottled up. 99 making a play at defensive end. Running a pass. Grant under a lot of pressure. Varden making a ridiculous play here. Over 25. But that's what you like to see. You know, I mean, we knew we weren't winning this game by this time, but it's, uh, you know, we're going to keep playing hard. Senior leaders stepping up. That's what, uh, that's what we want to see. All right, got a bunch of guys down there. Let's get in on that tackle. Yeah, most guys only have, uh, four years of High school football, limited games. Start to that's in the back of your mind when you get to your senior year. We got a fumble. Looks like uh, we got it back. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, but. It's kind of un can't really describe it unless you uh, unless you experience it. Here we go, nice run by Yunk, running hard, dragon guys. And what's going to be like insane? This is going to be another crazy play by Varden. Just double coverage. <laughs> Getting the jump ball, making a play, over 25. But, uh, yeah, the, my last football season senior year, or high school football season, I should say, 2004, so this fall, it's going to be 20 years, my senior season, which is like bananas. But, uh... You know, if I ever see some of those guys, you know, guys that were my age, uh, you know, a year younger, two years younger, guess what we talk about? We talk about football. Kind of helps, you know, we had a pretty good team. If you want to know more information, just ask uh, Brady Rogers. I think he memorized everything I've ever said about my uh, old team. In previous uh, coaches' commentary, so he can fill you in. this over yet <laughs> yeah we're a lot of arm tackling now you know we're tired kind of had that spurt uh, you know third quarter So Feld, nice hands. Grant picking his way through, getting the yards that he can. And we're into the fourth quarter. Yeah, 
Yeah, so two guys with empty hands at the point of attack. Not a winning business model. There we go. This is better. It makes the tackle, but it's, you know, seven yards downfield. We'll take that. Yeah, going back to the well here. Oh, we got uh, 50 thrown punches. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I got kicked out of the game, and then in high school, if you get kicked out of the game, you're out for the next one. And then there's a 15-yard penalty, of course. But, yeah, I got that pretty clear on film. Alright, nice down block. Oh boy. It looks like we fumbled, gave up the ball, and had a penalty against us. Yeah, so it looks like we're uh, getting some more of our young guys sprinkled in there. <laughs> just that's like eight yards, just like burying us, and they must have had a holding holding call there or something. <laughs> All right, we got Lane Koshard out there. That linebacker, yeah, got to stop, and yeah, we got a bunch of our, I think we have JV offense in here, yeah. So we got Brady Rogers at center, we got Gavin Belowski at a guard, we got Carson Leist at uh, blocking tight end. Nice run there for our young guys. Got uh, Lane Koshard at quarterback, looks like we got Joe Cabino. In there at the uh, two, Moen's there now. But yeah, we're sprinkling guys in. Got Logan Wilson at a guard. But uh, yeah, we had a pretty good game against uh, Lena's JV. Actually, the the two times we've played them, they've been uh, both good. But for this game, I think we won 28 to 22 or something like that. Really fun game. Good group of kids. I'll do a coach's commentary on those JV games eventually. JV games are always kind of crazy. That's part of the fun. It's a learning experience. All right, let's see what else do we got? Who else do we got out here? Looks like we're sending a blitz with Lane. He's telling uh, Wilson which way he wants him to go. We got Hunter O'Hearn out there. Aiden Moen. Carson Leist. <laughs> it was 99 just pancaked Moen on that play. It was... <clears throat> we got uh, JB out there, Josh Bennett. All right, here we go. Got power. Yeah, run the other way. Running guys in. I think we got Jerry Miller out there. Let's see who else do we got. Is that uh? Looks like we got Brady Rogers at the far defensive end. Uh, we got Braden Crew at linebacker now. Yeah, just uh, taking these. So, uh, yeah, glad that one's over. Uh, but Lena, uh, quality team, uh, you know, 
Like I said, they don't run anything uh, crazy. They just do what they do really, really well, and they had a bunch of beasts. So uh, I can't wait till they stop having those beasts, and that'll be uh, uh, very or a lot easier uh, game planning wise. But uh, yeah, hopefully you found some kind of enjoyment with uh, you know me putting my uh, uh, my face in my hands and all that other stuff, clawing my eyes out. But uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next one.